Hello everyone and welcome to yet another tutorial. Today we are going to look at how to create a ball bounce and it's a beach ball and it's happening at the beach and the water is moving. So we are going to look at how to uh, create an animation like this. Uh, this has been done using the Arnold renderer. So let us get started uh, and see how this can be done. All right. So you can see that this is my scene setup. There's a camera. There's a Arnold direct light. There's an Arnold sky dome. This is our beach ball. And I have a plane for the ground and I have another plane for the sky, right? So I'm going to go and save this file. Go to file reset and start a new file. So the first thing is if you go to customize unit setup, I'm using metric centimeters and system unit setup is also centimeters. Okay, so let us create a sphere and let us make it 15 centimeters and the segments will reduce it to 24. Uh, we will assign a beach ball texture to the ball so if you go and uh, this is the image i used for the background uh, we will open a new window and search for beach ball texture okay go to images and i like this one so i use this one all right so we will hit the M key on the keyboard for material editor and we will use a physical material that works with Arnold, right? So we will drag the base color, general, bitmap and use the bitmap. Select the sphere, right click, assign material to selection and right click show shaded material in the viewport so you get the beach ball without doing any other work straightforward okay then we will create a plane for our ground so let us create a plane the ball is going to be in air okay so first we will work with the ball bounce animation then we will work on the rotation then we will work on squish and stretch then we will work on staging by setting up the camera and then we will do the lights okay so auto key is on uh, we animate everything in tens so the first frame uh, how how much did I move the ball up in air is around one thirty six. Okay, so this is one thirty six from the ground, just approximately somewhere up in the sky and then auto key is on frame number 10 the ball goes to the ground if you go to the motion panel here so the first one is create panel then the modify panel hierarchy and then the motion panel we'll go to motion paths and now you see how the ball is falling down frame number 20 the ball will be in air so it's a beach so the ball is not going to bounce too much we're going to do this real quick just eyeballing the motion it hits the ground at 30 at 40 it will be up in air again at 50 it will hit the ground now 40 let us further move it down a little 60 again in air very little 70 again on the ground 
test the cloud you can test the cloud and 80 it will simply slide okay so that is our animation the ball is now if you want you can paste your animations far away so it can travel more distance if you want so keep moving it to the right and it's better to have a wet, very little rolling in the end okay when you zoom in you can make sure that when it is in the air it is exactly in the middle again just eyeball it it doesn't have to be perfect what we can do is we can even stretch it down this side if you want so it is more distance in the beginning and then the as it loads this its energy it doesn't go far away okay so we got first part of our animation done where the ball is bouncing now you can see that all the keys are red color because we have only created the uh, transformation keys the position key we have not done the rotation and the scale keys now we need to make the ball bounce right now it looks like it is floating in the air so we need the ball to bounce up here so the ball should come and then fall very fast you go to graph editor curve editor you can see the three keys for the x position y position again x position also you can see how the position is there is no motion in the y axis and then the z is this so this key will be will turn the tangents to fast Okay, and this so now the ball is how this works is if it is horizontal the object is moving slow and if it is vertical the object is moving fast so the ball is slowing and as it approaches the ground it speeds up and then it hits the ground and again bounces and then the gravity tries to slow it down so it slows again speeds up again slows again speeds up again slows and then is done so now if you play this now the animation looks realistic okay so that part is done now we will add rotation so rotation all we have to do is go to frame number 80 and add rotation to the ball and we are doing it in the y-axis okay and then you can see that there is a green key on 0 and green key on 80 there is no key so the ball will rotate from 0 to 80 will just ignore all the frames in the middle okay so now if you play this you can see that the ball is bouncing and rotating and so you can see that the ball is uh, slowing and then speeding up and again slowing so what we can do is again open your graph editor there's no rotation in X Y rotation is there but we cannot see the whole thing so we'll go to view frame frame value extends so you can see the curve so it's slow fast and slow we can make it even okay and let's see how it looks now the ball is evenly moving what we can make do is we can slow it down in the end a little bit 
so we will select the this key and we will click here and then we will slightly slow it down in the end okay so it slows down in the end now we have to do the squish and stretch so when the ball hits the ground we are going to scale it but instead of this scale we will click on the scale tool and use the last option it is going to scale while keeping the volume so you can see we will do look at it in the perspective view you will see that when you squish the ball it stretches as well okay so it keeps the volume and that is what we want so again in the front view we will squish it and you have to watch the values here so I squished it at 79 okay so let us say 76 is also true 80 okay it squishes 80 and because it squishes it has left the ground so we'll hit the ground all right now at 30 what we have to do is again scale has to be we'll go back to 100 okay. copy paste paste now it is 100 here we will squish it and here it was 81 here it should be less than that okay so 87 and then it touches the ground at 50 again scale will be 0 so I'll paste the hundreds so it is better to make it zero first and then it will be even less say 90 here it was 87 here we did 90 maybe even less 95 okay and it should touch the ground This is up in air. We'll try to put it at zero. Here, I think the bounce is too much, so we'll reduce it. Okay, so now the ball is squishing. Even here, it is doesn't look like it's in the center. So here, it is the scale is hundred. It squishes. It should be hundred here on top it should always be 100 so we are working with the scale value so it squishes and it will be 100 here squishes 100 here on top hundred and hundred okay this key doesn't look Okay, so now if you look at the animation in the perspective view, scale is 100. Select the ball. 
so it is quoshing now now we have to stretch it so stretching go to 0 and 10 okay in the front view again There has to be a key just one frame before the scale has to be 100 again okay and then it will stretch okay say 119 Okay, so there's a key and then it squishes and one frame we will let it go and then after that we'll make it 100 again and then it will stretch 116 okay so again one frame before 30 we will make it 0 and it was 108 119 here we will make it less than that so 108 and two frames later control V control V so we always make it 100 and then scale it that way we can play with the numbers better so it was 92 here and it is 94 here okay so here again we will put 100 100 100 and very little hundred and three and here it will be control V control V control V then we'll squish it hundred and one perhaps okay so that takes care of squish and stretch so if you play the animation now it is squishing and stretching So in the next class, we will uh, set up the background, the foreground, add lights, and then we will render the animation. See you in the next class.